in this experiment we will be trying to find the zeros of polynomials experimentally by plotting the graphs so the objective of the experiment is to determine the zeros of a polynomial a given polynomial it may be a linear a quadratic or a cubic polynomial graphically that is by plotting the graph let's see what is the concept involved in whenever we have a polynomial whether it is a linear polynomial in the form ax plus b or a quadratic polynomial in the form ax square plus bx plus c or for that matter you can take a cubic polynomial also we can find the zeros of all these polynomials either algebraically by using some algebraic methods which you have done in your theoretical portion or you can do it through the graphical approach every polynomial whether it is a linear polynomial or a quadratic polynomial or a cubic polynomial has a graph associated with it and when you plot the graph from the graph itself you can find how many zeros and what are the exact zeros of the given polynomial now that's what we are going to do in this experiment we'll be plotting the graph of some of the polynomials and then from the graph itself we will be finding the zeros of the polynomial for doing this we require some material and those are some graph papers obviously we have to plot the graph or uh, the general aids like pencil scale eraser those will be required in plotting the graph and glue stick for pasting purpose these are the different materials which will be required readily available at your home so let's see how we can use this concept and this material to perform this activity for finding the zeros of a polynomial the first example we have taken is that of a linear polynomial as you can see here 3x minus 6 it is a linear polynomial so to find how many zeros it has you have to plot the graph of this taking 3x minus 6 equal to y you can take any random values of x and find the corresponding values of y in this case we have taken 1 3 and 2 as the values of x and corresponding to them we have found out the values of y all these they form the solutions of this linear equation in two variables so if you plot 1 comma minus 3 it will be this point 3 comma 3 it will be this point 2 comma 0 it will be this point and if you join them using a straight line the graph will intersect the x-axis only at one point and therefore the polynomial 3x minus 6 has only one zero the point of intersection of the graph with the axis gives the zero of the polynomial let's take the example of a quadratic polynomial here you can see x square minus 2x minus 3 that is a quadratic polynomial and again we have taken some random values of x to plot the graph. In this case the values taken are 0, 1, 3, 4, minus 1 and minus 2 and corresponding to all these values we have found out the value of y. All these points are then plotted on the Cartesian plane so 0 minus 3 lies here. 1 minus 4 lies here, 3 0 lies on the x-axis here, 4 5 here, minus 1 0 here and minus 2 5 here. All the points are then joined using a smooth curve and we can observe that the graph obtained is intersecting the x-axis at two points and therefore the polynomial x square minus 2x minus 3 has two zeros and the value of the zeros are 3 and minus 1. Let's take the third example in which we have taken another quadratic polynomial and we are plotting the graph first. So if you take the values of x like minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, minus 3 and find the corresponding values of y then 
plot all these points on the Cartesian plane, join them using a smooth curve. You can observe here that the curve is not intersecting the x-axis. And when a curve does not intersect the x-axis, then it has no zeros. So this quadratic polynomial is an example of a polynomial which has no zeros. And that completes our activity.